Hi again, everybody. Dave Stevens here at the fourth All Wheels Up conference. And I'm sitting next to the legend who created this amazing, not only this event, but the initiative for having accessibility for wheelchairs on planes, Michelle Irwin. And Michelle, what's the story behind this? I know it's about your son, but there's so much more to this that you do. Thank you, Dave. You know, thank you for the very kind introduction. Um, you know, I, the reason I started All Wheels Up was so, you know, people who use wheelchairs could have safe and dignified accessible air travel. And I'm just really excited to see the progress being made. And there were so many great stories here. Uh, talk about a little of the people that were here. Well, we've had everybody from the airframers, the OEMs, uh, university students talking about their projects that they've done this year. Uh, we've had airlines here, the regulators, and of course, uh, the community, the people who use the wheelchairs themselves. And, you know, they are giving their thoughts on what accessible air travel should look like in the future. So it's been pretty terrific. And there's so many great names and people. Tammy Duckworth come here, the wonderful senator. But uh, tell us about some of the participants. I could sit here all day and tell you about the amazing people who have been here, but I think we should hear it from them. Uh, throughout the two days, as you think about things, learn about things, and, and, you, and you think, boy, here, here's something that really needs to happen in the, in the near future. Many of you in this room already know me. Um, I'm the president and founder of All Goes Up, and we are over 13 years old, which is actually really hard to believe because my son, who the reason I started it, is now 16. So it kind of gives you an idea of how long I've, we've been doing this. Um, it really actually didn't hit me until I was actually putting this presentation together for you that I, I keep saying to everybody, oh, 10 years, 10 years. And I'm like, actually, we've been at it longer than that. So it's actually um, really wonderful. But I'm also like, wow, it's, you know, we've made a lot of progress in, in 13 years. This conference is very important. Um, it's great to see all the different stakeholders on this issue, uh, meeting together, talking, um, throwing out different ideas or solutions or suggestions. And I think that's the way we make real progress. We're seeing story after story of the challenges people with disabilities are having with air travel. And people with disabilities are, in my country, in Canada, 22% of the population. Uh, it's not a small number. And they have the, they, they have the right uh, to travel with dignity uh, and safety. And it's time we solve some of the problems. The, the really neat thing about All Wheels Up and Michelle is who she gets at the table, who she gets to come here and talk about issues. Um, you know, and that and that's the best part because when you get people in the room talking about the issues, um, then hopefully results come from it. I'm here with my half cousin, uh, Senator Duckworth, and uh, thanks for being a part of this. Uh, if we didn't have you, who would be our voice? Well, you know, I think there's a lot of uh, organizations like this. Wheels Up and other organizations are the voice. They're the ones who lobby uh, in Congress. And I'm really pleased that I get to be on the legislative side to listen to those voices so that we can pass legislation um, and regulations to help the traveling public. And I've lost chairs. You've lost chairs. What's it going to take to either train, get the money funded to get better education for our chairs and our equipment? I mean, what do you think it's going to take to get everybody on the same page? Well, I think with the commercial airlines, you know, is for them to understand it's profitable to help people with disabilities, but also that they'll lose customers, which is why we passed legislation the last time where we required airlines to report how often they break assistive devices, um, just like they do how late they are, right? They, they have on-time arrival so that when you go to buy your ticket, you can see, oh my gosh, that airline breaks wheelchairs all the time. I'm not going to buy a ticket with them. I'm going to buy a ticket somewhere else so that the consumer is making their voices heard with their spending and that will change the airlines. How important is an event like this where we have airlines and designers and everybody that are working together rather than against each other? You know, as a politician, it's always tough to get things done. So we've got a bunch of people here that are working for one goal. 
I think that's really great, and I'm glad the airlines have representatives here because that's going to help us move forward, and and so we can hear from them what their concerns are, what's stopping them from moving forward with some of the some of these uh, uh, initiatives. And I already got some great ideas just talking to folks uh, just now in the room, and we're gonna we wrote those down. We're gonna see if we can't um, work on them for, for the next FAA reauthorization. I think we should get all the senators and everybody to go to the airport and see what it's like for us sit in our chairs for a day. So thanks for spending some time with us. Best of luck in the future, Senator Tammy Duckworth. But I guess the question um, for me really is um, how can we encourage uh, further innovation in this space to respond to your needs and understanding that um, given comments by the Secretary of Transportation, given the advocacy around this, we know it's going to happen. The question is when. Hello and thank you to All Wheels Up for inviting me back to speak with you once again. And thank you also for your continued work to make air travel safer and more accessible for people with disabilities. Returning to this occasion once again makes this a good chance to mark our progress and hold ourselves accountable for what has been accomplished since we last spoke. And when it comes to aviation accessibility, I'm proud to say that we have made significant progress since the last time that I addressed you. This summer, during Disability Pride Month, I joined Vice President Harris at the White House to share that we at DOT were close to finalizing a rule that will increase the size and accessibility of airplane bathrooms. And just a couple of weeks later, on the 33rd anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act, we did just that. You don't need me to tell you that every day, wheelchair users around the country are forced to make the brutal choice between dehydrating themselves before boarding a plane or avoiding air travel altogether. That's why our new rule will require airlines to make airplane lavatories large enough to fit a wheelchair user and an attendant with enough room to move around inside, finally affording travelers in wheelchairs the same basic dignity that other members of the traveling public can take for granted. Of course, the experience of flying isn't just about what it's like on board a plane. That's why, thanks to President Biden's leadership, we have been able to invest billions of dollars in modernizing airport terminals, adding wheelchair ramps, accessible restrooms, and more. 85% of the projects that we have supported through our Airport Infrastructure Grant Program, for instance, have included accessibility improvements. And if you're taking public transit on the way to the airport, you might benefit from the $700 million that we have awarded through our All Stations Accessibility Program, or ASAP, which is retrofitting old rail and subway stations, adding elevators, ramps, and more. And we're continuing to use our rulemaking and regulatory power to improve air travel for all. As I mentioned last year, we're embarking on the research we need to make it possible for air travelers one day to stay in their own wheelchairs when they fly. It's something that is already possible on other major forms of transportation, and it's time to make it a reality for aviation. We know that it's going to take time, truthfully, more time than we would like, but we are clear about our goal and we are moving closer toward it every day, thanks in large part to support from advocates like those joining today. We're also working on rules that would require better training for airline staff who assist passengers with disabilities or handle battery-powered wheelchairs and scooters. And because civil rights are only meaningful when they are enforced, the President and I have called on Congress to pass legislation that will ensure passengers with disabilities can pursue legal action against airlines that violate their rights. We've already seen how powerful your advocacy can be. And I encourage you to continue making your views known so that everyone understands how important that provision is. We still have a lot of work to do, but I want to emphasize that we wouldn't have gotten this far without your partnership and leadership. So much of our work is deeply informed by countless conversations with disability advocates like those at this event. And going forward, your expertise and dedication will continue to shape American transportation policy. So thank you once more for inviting me back and for all of the good work that you've done and for all that is still to come. Well, um, it's, it's really important to me because like right now people with disabilities just we're not able to like access and explore so many parts of the world. And I think like it's, unaccept it's unacceptable to us. Like transportation, it's, it's a right everyone 
should have and uh, yeah there's so many things in life that we're missing because of air travel not being accessible and it's something that i had heard from people before a wheelchair space on the airplane um but i think the difference with her is that she took action um and developed uh, a, a program that has yielded some very important results um key among those is the research into the feasibility of actually putting a wheelchair space on the airplane i think it's something that we always knew was possible um but it's also something that government and industry needed hard data and facts on uh, to justify moving forward with any action. Um, so we have on the right uh, a little animation that will show you guys um, how it works. Basically, the seats fold up by removing the seat cushion, um, unlocking the seat frame, rotating that up, um, and then the wheelchair can move into place. Oh, you know, one of the things that's really been exciting to me is, is when we uh, turn people loose at their own individual tables for those table conversations. I walk around and I see people so engaged and it's that engagement that, that gives me the hope that something will happen. That's the most crucial part of this whole effort and that's why I'm very appreciative of the work that All Wills Up is doing because this requires collective effort of the whole industry. It's not just one person standing alone. And the one best thing about this is that it is absolutely, there are mind-blowing mind -blowing thinkers within this space. There are movement makers, there's designers, there's just brilliant people that are all right here. And it's great to have this type of conference to allow disclosure of what sort of innovation is within this space. I've tried to do is make life easier for the agents. Um, because of, they don't know how to deal with our situations. And so this is, I don't know if you can hit full screen on that, but this is what I go through where I jump up on a table and I try to show them it's easier to, you know, frisk me and do all those kind of things. And, um, you know, the, the stuff I have to go through because I'm in a wheelchair. And then once I get through security and get all of that, inevitably, the airlines ignore it, saying, I don't need an aisle chair, I don't need this, and half the time you get five people that show up that didn't listen to you or didn't communicate. And, and it gets awkward, it gets embarrassing, but for me, in my travels, I, I bring a skateboard so I can get on, and I always unload all the chair and get everything all prepared, and um, you know, I do my own stuff. And that's my cause, is to champion for those that can't, for those of us out there that have a tougher time traveling, but for me, um, I'm still able to do it, and, and it really shocks all of the airline attendants. And, <laughs> and I'm so proud to be here. I actually um, was sort of reflecting yesterday um, as we were all having conversations and getting to know each other. And, you know, if, if you are trying to solve this problem, this is the room that you want to be in. This is an absolutely amazing room of human people. And I, I'm very, very moved by all of the sentiments that I heard yesterday, all of the, the stories and just the shared experience of, of why we're all here. But I just went on an hour and 45 minute flight up to Portland and it gave me like stage two pressure ulcers on my butt because I was sitting on a seat. And um, I didn't know what was happening to me at the time, but I was like flushing and sweating and like getting completely soaked in my upper body. And that was the, my body telling me, hey, you're getting a pressure ulcer right now. I just didn't know because I couldn't feel it. So that's one example. Fast forward to today where I travel all the time and I'm a little bit more uh, uh, educated on how to do it the right way. Really, it's, a, it's an issue that in fact, not the people with disability, but people that don't have a disability now, but very likely will uh, in the future. This, we're talking about the cha changing the, the construct of air, airplanes. Um, and there are some technical challenges there. And, and frankly, the, we have to help the world come along with us on this journey so that the places we go to are also accessible. I knew there was a problem. I've been flying for many years, but I never saw someone working on trying to fix it. Bands, 
um, just to have someone put a voice to the problem um, met the world and met that um, you know there's a chance that someday we won't have to put up with this all right, that's a wrap here at the fourth annual All Wheels Up conference here in D.C. I'm joined by a bunch of my heroes and friends that are trying to make an impact and a difference in this world when it comes to wheelchair accessibility on airplanes. Hopefully, changes will get made because a lot of people saw what we go through here. In D.C., I'm Dave Stevens for Ability Media.